Hi there, this is Fabio Gomez with Marcillo Real Estate. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you, you and your family are staying safe and healthy during this very difficult moment. A lot of people out there are asking questions regarding real estate. Uh, they're asking specific questions that most people are asking right now with everything that's going on. How does the market look? Do you want the long answer or the short answer? Just kidding. Uh, let's go ahead and do the short answer. According to a lot of the local real estate experts uh, like Orlando Regional Real Estate Association, a Business Weekly, um, uh, Wall Street Journal, a lot of the publications out there are publishing local information regarding specifically the Central Florida real estate market. Uh, there's several uh, little uh, bullet points that are very important if you are looking to sell your property or buy your home in 2020. And it's very important to keep in mind this information that I'm giving you it wasn't provided by your cousin Bob or your friend Cynthia from work no these are people who live and breathe real estate every single day there is a lot of misinformation out there so let's see what the experts are saying the consensus is yes the market has slowed down locally this is for several reasons uh, in terms of selling a lot of people have decided not to let a, a lot of strangers come to the house maybe not take care of themselves and uh, walk around their homes so some people have put put their homes off of the market also in terms of buying a lot of people are afraid to go out and see homes um, and they've decided just to wait a little bit longer there's a small group of people that are actually expecting there to be a big drop off in prices. Yeah, that's that's probably not going to happen. Yes, there's going to be some type of adjustment, but it's nowhere near, you know, 15-20% of the value of the home. The reasons for these are, are several. For example, um, there's actually a lot of buyers out of the market right now because the lenders have changed a lot of the guidelines. Now it's become a little tougher to get a very good loan. In some cases, some of the lenders out there are requiring 20% down payment on a conventional loan, and you have to have uh, above 700 credit score. A large portion of the Central Florida uh, market go through FHA uh, type of properties uh, purchases because they uh, don't have the 700 credit score, but they have these loans that are used primarily by, primarily by first-time home buyers. So again, the consensus is that yes, the sales are going to slow down, but they're going to pick up relatively quickly. They're expecting things to slow down now and probably before the end of the year, maybe September, October, uh, things will revert back to a seller's market. So temporarily buyer market, then a seller's market right away. I uh, use as a, as a uh, comparison is the stock market. Stock market had a huge drop off from one day to another uh, for just a couple of days, a couple, few days, and but there was a huge recovery right away. So there is, um, in this case, um, a drop off, but it's going to be a quick recovery in terms of the real estate market. I hope this information just gives you a general idea of what to expect for 2020. This is Fabio Gomez with Marcia Real Estate. Hope you and your family stay safe, stay healthy during this difficult moment. We are going to get back. Things are going to get back to normal. And I hope that uh, we can also be a resource for you in the moment that you want to buy uh, your dream home, your second home, your vacation home, or you're ready to sell maybe to an upgrade house or maybe to um, uh, reduce the size of your home. Uh, we are here. We're not closing our doors. We're still here for you. You take care and God bless.